I'm constantly reviewing new headphones all the time. And for me to be kind of blown away or astonished at a pair of headphones is pretty difficult to do. And that's why when I got the Awe T18C, I was like amazed at all of like the specs and just like kind of the overall user experience these brought at under $40. We're gonna jump into my initial impressions and why I'm quickly falling in love with this pair of truly wireless headphones. <laughs> these were sent to me free of charge. If you guys are new to my channel, know that just because a company sends stuff to me doesn't mean I'm gonna have a favorable outlook on it. If you guys want to buy these, I'll have links to where you can do it in the description down below. Now first, these headphones offer a true and seamless mono mode, which is something that you can't say about all headphones at under 40 bucks. They don't offer the Qualcomm 3020 chip, but the chip that they do utilize allows them to be used individually with seamless use. The next thing I wanna talk about is the controls. Now, because I'm constantly testing and using so many different pairs of truly wireless headphones and just headphones in general, it takes me some time to learn the controls and remember how to use all of these headphones. That's why when I picked these up and I just put them in my ears, I could figure out the controls almost instantly. And that to me is amazing. They offer a really, really flush and seamless fit on your head and along with that, the control surface of them is so responsive. It really makes using a pair of headphones just an absolute joy and seamless experience when you can just pick them up and the controls are so intuitive that there's no learning curve. Next up was the case. Now this case automatically begins pairing with your device when you lift the lid. And when you lift the lid on top of that, it's got a LCD readout with the amount of charge left in your headphones. This takes all the guesswork out of knowing how much battery life you have left in your headphones and makes the experience of using them that much better. Along with that, if you forget to charge your phone and you have your headphones with you, the 2800 milliamp hour battery included with this case can be used as a power bank for your device. That's right. They charge via micro USB, but have a full size USB out port to charge your phone. That means that if you're a commuter or you're someone that might have an issue getting through the end of the day with your phone's included battery life, they have you covered. I would prefer to see USB-C in and USB-C out, so you only need one port, but under $40, I think that this added feature really makes the headphones stick out from other headphones in the price range. The last thing I want to talk about them is the fit. Now, the shape and overall kind of construction of these headphones means that they fit inside your ear and you don't have a actual earbud sticking out the way you would with something like the Mpow T5s. These fit a lot more similarly to the Sabit E12 or the Mifo 05 Plus, which again, at the price point is really, really nice. I think that for people at the $30, $35 range, this is a lot better of a buy than the Halu GT1 Plus. And if you guys wanna see a comparison, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you wanna buy these. Check out the links in the description down below. And until next time, it's been Mitchell coming to you guys from Hanoi. Peace.